Oof. My room is finally cooling down. Dear Lord. Alright. I've been... Um, my house is pretty good for heat. It's actually kind of uncomfortable. So the uh, the downstairs is uh, is much colder. And that's where the thermostat is. So we've had our, our house perpetually set to like 62 degrees. But I think it, it's probably like 70 something in here. Just because the downstairs is like, well, it's cold. Uh, wait, no, 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 it's it's getting too cold. All right, warm up the upstairs, but not the downstairs. He just perpetually thinks it's, you know. <laughs> Thanks. It's a dumb design. Yeah. We like tried turning the heat up to like 68 on move-in day because it was kind of cold. And uh, whew, that got <laughs> toasty. Yeah, when the heat is on here, it gets stupid warm. There we go. I'm going to not space. increase the iron rod production just a wee bit. Not there, but here. Okay. Let's see, yellow shards. Want a merger. It's getting increasingly hard to see where I'm building things. I would like it if there was some sort of overhead view to allow me to build things, but at the same time, you'd ruin the uh, first person I, aesthetic. Eventually, eventually we get a jetpack. I know that. What? Yeah. A lot would Apparently, it allows for like either limited flight or it allows for some amount of extra movement. Um, Fair enough. It does indeed but sound quite I, useful. It's not in the game yet, unfortunately. Of course not. Far too useful. Right, there we go. Okay, I've increased um, production of, of rods. What are we working towards at the moment, Wanda? Uh, I was going to get us yellow shards, because I picked up some yellow slugs okay. along the way. Uh, after that, eh... Let's have a look. What else can I we do? I mean, honestly, so? like... Oh, we just need we rods and kinda, copper, I guess. Yeah, we can kind of just stop whenever, uh, as far as, like, research goes, because there's not much left. Right, okay. Let's get all these. Oh, we don't need that much, but I'll take you. Uh, I'm going to need to gather out all of these. Okay, I'm turning up the, uh, oh. Right, I forgot some of these smelters are... Overclocked. I don't know if the smelter needs to be overclocked. Uh, it depends. If they're backing up, then no. Otherwise, they may just be very slightly in, um... Kicking the, uh, production... Up enough to yeah. You pretty much only need one smelter per. I guess what I could do, because I kicked that up to forty-five. Mm -hmm. Where are you at? Okay, this one's boosted. All right. In terms of milestones, purple shards are really the only thing left. Yeah, and even then, purple shards aren't that. Helpful. They just get us uh, more power shards, which are actually worth it. And, you know, at some point, if I get really bored, I can just go bananas here. Uh, okay. By the way, as far as all this iron production goes, you might want to... We might need a third line. I'm noticing, like, it's all backed up. Yeah, I'm starting to notice that as well. Like, you might want to split some of this off and send it at iron rods. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, go figure. You've got both of these iron lines going to one one combiner. That combiner is outputting at um, twice the regular speed. I think it's twice. Anyway, let me have a look. So 
So a regular conveyor belt can move 60 resources, yeah. And a conveyor belt Mark II can move 120. So oh. th that conveyor, that, yeah, that's why I it guess was, it is. Yeah. It is actually, it is moving smoothly. It, and then uh, it, reaches, it just looks kind of... It, it doesn't look like it it's moving kind of, twice as fast, but yeah. it is. And then when it gets yeah. out here, it splits into three different paths. It, this section is getting backed up, though. Yeah, and like I'm not right sure here. why that is. I, well, actually, no, I guess I am sure what, why that is. Those, um, those mines are overclocked. A regular mine mm. will produce 30 items per minute. So two mines will produce one item per second, or 60 items a minute, and that's how much a regular belt can move. So combining two regular unboosted mines and smelters will allow you to move all of that um, output along a single belt. Speaking of, mm. I've got a lot of power nodes. Uh, considering everything instead of having you go all the way out for more uh are these no these aren't even power boosted what are you looking at uh these iron mines out here anyway oh, okay. uh i'm i'm boosting both of these uh these mines well with that output then we should be able to push another um uh, well, how would we hook it up though? But we we could push a little I, I'm bit. I'm just gonna. Outside. I'm just gonna make it inconvenient for you to uh, lay this out by increasing production. Because <laughs> the alternative is we go find a different iron mine and kind of do the same thing. But we might as well make the most of what we got. Well, yeah. If you boost all four of them, then we've effect like to uh to. How much is it boosted? One hundred and fifty percent. Uh, yeah, each each power cell that I put in boosts it by 50%. So, currently only have enough for one on each. And all of the smelters are also boosted, is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, we're producing um, 45 units of ore per, sec uh, per minute, or 90 per minute with, with the two combined. Which means that we've got enough for three belts in its entirety, between all four mines. I need screws. I need a lot of screws. And with three belts, we would probably be able to set up a full... Um, rod production? Rod production, yeah. yeah. Because right now, although it's improved, it is still splitting half of its production off to screws. We've got a lot of screws. Mind you, we oh, do use a lot of, of screws. Well, yeah, we burn so many. Yeah, I just noticed. In terms of... Uh, but we're about to completely back up our iron plate production. Completely. Yep. Once that happens... Maybe I should go find... Uh, maybe I should go slug hunting. Just make this really awkward. Mm. Just put them all up to 250%. Well, I mean... In regards to where we're going to go from here, what are we... Um, is there much more in the way of research for us to, to work on? Or any um, large construction Pretty much we want to do? No. Uh, okay. We don't really have any major construction, apart from me finishing my... Uh, <laughs> Uh, apart from me finishing my my silly power plant situation, the only research we haven't done yet is walkways. Uh, but I'll crack on with that. Right, we need some more iron. Uh, sorry, sorry, more copper. I've already got. Oh, I don't have that enough yet. And actually, uh, finishing the walkways one uh, completes another. Uh, com uh, unlocks an another research that oh, lets okay. us actually stack conveyors. Uh, we've already got that one, I think. 
Do we? Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, maybe not. That was part of I the thought there was a third. One. I thought there was a third tech that I, uh... That I hadn't... Or that I had been able to research last time. Like when I was playing alone. Yeah. But I could, I could be very wrong. Okay. We may see that when we uh, interact with it, it does actually unlock it. Oh, I'm... I'm just going to make the uh, remaining iron rods by hand. Oh. We don't have that many... Oh, yeah. We don't have that many left. Yeah, sure. I was literally just grabbing some iron and got to do exactly the same thing. Uh, right, okay. Turns out there was a small horde sitting around in the smelters waiting to even be outputted. Yeah. I would say, I know we could go up to three lines, but I'd say just make four. Um, you could do, though the fourth one wouldn't be used at all. Like, uh, yeah. rather, in, in terms of uh, After medical exact consultation, ones. Additional buildings aimed at factory traversal have been added. Hooray! Walkways can now be accessed in the build menu. Right, let me uh, have a look. Yeah, no, I don't see that third research. Maybe, maybe it was actually something completely different, and I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know what it's God, making all of these. Yeah, getting the purple shot is going to be a pain. Luckily, we don't need to uh, until we find another purple slug, which are rare. Ah, okay. Uh. God, where did we even find the purple slug? Um. Oh, it was, um. Was that one on the Toxic Island? No. I don't know. Because, yeah, I, I, I've only ever seen one other purple slug, and it was in that one boss chamber. Boss and I don't want to get up there, because it was like. It was all the way up at, at the top, and like that's that's a process. Uh, what do I need for rotors? You've got my intention. Uh, attention, not intention. Oh my god, sleep. <laughs> you getting tired? Oh, I'm tripping over my words a little bit. That, the part of my brain that is translating everything I say from Welsh into English is starting to shut down. Oh, well, you know, slow down. Oh, right. I forgot you were. That was, was that your first language? Hmm, yeah. Welsh is my first language. Cool. I think we had this conversation, then I totally forgot about it. <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's not that particularly memorable. Most people so, just don't, don't yeah. figure that I, that English is my first language. So how many people even speak Welsh nowadays? Is it just mainly a regional thing, I'm or...? Uh, in, in terms of how many people can speak it, uh, a sizable portion of the Welsh population is taught in all schools. Um, oh, really? Oh, yeah. Um, all English uh, English medium schools have Welsh lessons in the same way they'd have French or German. And then all Welsh medium schools, Welsh is the language that every lesson is taught in, except other languages where you'll speak the language of that lesson. So uh, in the school that I went to, um, I went to English lessons, uh, and, and that was the only time that I spoke English in school. Uh, much the same when I went to French lessons, I'd speak French, and that was the only time I'd speak French. When I went to Latin lessons, I'd speak Latin, um, so on and so forth. But like all the sciences, computing, um, all of that, that was all taught through Welsh. Huh. Which does kind of, uh, I'll be honest, where those those obscure terms which you use very very infrequently oh they're hard ones they're super hard for me to like there are, there's plenty of things i'm sure i can't think of them right now because you know i can't think of the things i yeah. don't know but uh there's loads of like technical terms that i just won't know the the english um translation for because i never really used it you know uh yeah let's see yeah i think i've yeah i've loaded all of the biofuel There we go. Yeah, that's one of those, like, cultural things that you pretty much just never even hear about in <laughs> yeah. the U.S. Like, 
what Welsh is or how it even works. And I think all I knew was that there was like a systematic thing to almost eliminate the language. Yeah. Uh, yes. Which... The Welsh not. I mean, it, it makes sense from a from a con conquest point of view. The easiest way to conquer a people is generally not through war, it's through culture. You, know, you, you might start it off with war, but then to um, bring the entire population under control, you'd start to eliminate their cultural identity until eventually they're absorbed into the cultural identity of the conqueror. Um, so the first thing that you generally go for is language and, and uh, like gods. That's why a lot of, a lot of Welsh gods ended up being absorbed into other other more prominent religions in England and in the Church of England. Um, huh. But that was more of a Christian thing versus a, versus a, a, a pagan thing. But, you know, it, it's the same sort of sort of system you see it all over the place. It's, it, it's actually quite interesting. <laughs> but, uh, what are we waiting on? We are waiting on... Have I got all of that? Yes, I have. Good. I need to go and start loading up the research for purple shards. Not that we're really going to be able to use them, but still, completionist in me wants to get all oh, of no, the stuff Oh no, we're done. absolutely going to be able to use them. It's the question of do we find them? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Same problem, different direction. Uh, right. Yeah. Uh, well, rotors, yeah, I can make the last five. Awesome. Oh, poop. Always make one too many. Right, I need just a few metal, uh, reinforced metal. Well, um, now that the, now that we're starting to back up our production of iron plates, everything is backing up. That's good. So yeah, our rod production will start, I mean, Problem is, it's not not getting enough um, metal. It's that half of it is being turned into screws, and we don't need that. Honestly, we could do with a, a oh, yeah, double we production. We absolutely need loads of screws. Oh well, yeah, that's actually very true because I just picked up most of them just to turn into uh, reinforced plate. Yeah, good call. Good call. Uh, let's get these made though. Another five. Okay, there we go. Well, how's our, uh, I want to look at our power situation very temporarily. Uh, we're actually getting up there. Are we really? Yeah. Wow, that's genuinely I, I don't know what our impressive. current demand is, but it's, uh. Oh, well, if you look at a power pole, I'll show you. Our consumption yeah. is matching our production. Our capacity is, uh, I would say we're about a quarter, or we've got a, a quarter or a fifth left. Something around there. Depending on the spikes as things ramp up and, and cool down. Once all of the plate man, uh, manufacturers shut down because they're completely backlogged, our power consumption will drop like a stone. Uh, right. Uh... Do you want to do me a favor? Mm, sure. What can I do? You want to come to the edge of the platform uh, leading down into Coal Town and then just drop, like, 500 wire? Uh, sure, yeah, I'll go grab it now. Because, <laughs> like... <laughs> I don't... I want to climb those stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to climb those stairs right now. <laughs> Oh man, I completely sympathize. Uh, ooh, it's a pain in the ass. We actually haven't got 500 wire. We have gone through our wire pretty hard. Uh, I'm letting it. Hmm, that is actually kind of annoying. Yeah. All right. Uh, I've got 300. We've got. That's. I mean, that's fine. Ridiculous. I really don't need that much. I'll bring enough. Have you got a factory down there? Have you got the sugar cube down there? Uh, no, I don't have. I don't have a sugar cube. Okay. Oh, 
Well, I was running over there as if you did. Because I'm a dev. Uh, I'll quickly go ahead and make the wire that you need. Uh, and then I'll drop all 500 for you. There we go. And we're done. Is this... Does this work? I must test. What is test? Uh... Ah, oh, god damn it. I, I was think that the run. test failed. Uh, I was trying to run a conveyor belt up the entire... Wait, no. Test doesn't fail. I will delete the staircase. Oh god. <laughs> I don't feel like this is a good solution, Wanda. You deleting all floor I things. Do, I have bad memories. All I have to do is Sorry, well, you, bad memories. just don't stand near near. Uh oh. Hmm. Why uh oh? Uh oh. I don't like uh oh. Uh oh. I'm going to get myself killed several times doing this. I think. Uh, so I'm just gonna run a. Oh man, that's not. I'm just gonna run uh, conveyor belts all the way up the um, all the way up the the spiral staircase of boredom. Oh, yes. I can see. I was gonna try and drop this uh, the wire, but honestly, Geronimo, aim for the green stuff. Dunk. Whoa. It's a satisfying landing. That is a satisfying landing, to be fair. I like it. Right, well, I've got uh, all the wire down here, Wanda. Perfect. Dunk. There you go. That's going to take forever. Oh, no. All right. Yeah, I don't uh, I, I don't think you've th thought this through, Wanda. I, I, no. I don't think. I mean, I thought it through. I, it just wasn't worth it. I'll delete what I can so you can go up. Or you're gonna you're taking the other way up, aren't you? Uh well I'm looking at these things and I have no idea how they work. How do these things work, Wanda? What, the uh the jelly things? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, are three out of four of them really dark for you, by the way? Two are really dark and two are really, really bright. Okay, so yeah. those are that's um accidental then I take it. Or some sort of gl graphical glitch. Yeah, it's a it's definitely a bug. Okay, fair enough. I wonder how they work. New jelly landing. Generates a speed dampening jelly, guarantees a soft landing, and then a jump pad. Propels you upwards through the air. Make sure you land softly though. I mean I would be alright with this. Have you got two um, reinforced iron? Uh, in my inventory... No, I got one. Oh, Why? Man. Were you gonna try and make a uh, jump pad? Yeah. It only brings you up so far. Oh. Oh, oh my lord! Wanda, why do you hate yeah. nature? <laughs> what is Look, this, Wanda? There's no temperature... Right. There's no temperature readout or or any kind of like anything telling me that uh, what I'm doing is is a terrible crime. There are black clouds coming out of the chimney tops of these power generators, Wanda. It's clean coal. Black clouds. Those are sad clouds. Clean. Sad. Clean coal. Sad clouds. They're clean not. They're not coal. fluffy white clouds. They're black clouds, Wanda. You're a bad man. This is why all the aliens tried to kill us. Though I am wondering what the uh, story is going to be in this, because it's well, clear that it is some sort of power story. Up to, uh, our, we have to, I've doubled our power again. Oh <laughs> Wonder. <laughs> we're now down to a. Th <laughs> we're using a third of the power that we have available. <laughs> well then, time to get cracking. This is dumb. This is dumb. <laughs> we don't need this much power. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be crazy and I'm going to go up the ramp. <laughs> I refuse to go up those stairs. I have an I refuse. <laughs> I have an idea. 
I prefer the ramps to the stairs, Vonda. Question. Yes. Bad question. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. Never mind. All right. Or maybe maybe not. <laughs> hmm. Oh my lord. I do like the uh, like the walls that you've added. Well done. Protecting us one wall at a time. Ah, oh, come on. That is so much easier coming up here. Using the conveyor belt than the, the stairs. I have a newfound appreciation for that, those stairs. Uh, that conveyor <laughs> belt. Uh. Hmm. Wait. Oh. Oh. What? Huh? Uh huh? What? I. Okay, so until uh, that point where, where Wanda is just making random sounds. <laughs> I, do, I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I. Um. I'm trying to mess around with, uh. With the conveyor belts. I, I'm trying to find alternative ways to get up here that doesn't involve. The other. I mean, honestly, I guess the other thing I could do is actually take. The previous set of conveyors, rip them all up, and Oops. and uh, I, I could rip them up, and uh, none of these are good. Uh, all of all of my options are, are dumb and time wasting. Still, gives you something to do. Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm I mean, we have it. we have absolutely hit. We've come to the end of our time. Yeah, I, th and... I think I think uh, whilst we could drive forward to get I don't know the last like the bit of research, I don't think we're really going to get anything uh, particularly enjoyable out of that in terms of gameplay footage, um, like the object scanners and things. Oh, well, actually, they're stupidly cheap. But um, yeah, I think uh, for now we've more so or less done everything. You want to bring some concrete and a bunch of iron plates down? Last project? Sure, I don't. Because I, oh, I don't like actually, leaving this unfinished. Give me this a second. Bothers give me. me a second then, because I was just yeah. about to do something myself as well. Uh, okay, yeah. No, no, no. I wanted to build a constructor. I was just about to say, oh. you know, sod it. I'm not going to allow this. I need one more constructor to make these bloody holes. Ah, uh, there. Go. And then you. Ugh, it's gonna be annoying. Um. Man, you can dismantle so far. Do not take the stairs. Not that you were going to, but <laughs> doubly don't take the stairs. Thank you for the warning this time. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, right. Let's get you making iron rods. And I need another merger. So what are your feelings on the game so far, Wanda? I mean, it's great. It needs a lot more. But we also are looking at, like, half the available content anyway. Yeah. yeah. Just because it's the free weekend. Yep. That's about where I am. It's like, well... When this game's done, it's probably going to be a masterpiece. Yeah. But what I've played so that far might take two decades. So fun. I don't even think it's necessarily going to take that long, um, if I'm honest. I was just, I was just uh, it's a Factorio thing, because that game's been in development for ten years now, I think. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it something silly that like that? The point. Yes. It has been in development for a bloody long time. Um, I'm actually going to need some reinforced plates. Ah. Oh. Yeah, there are a few things that, that you could do if you were inclined to just see if you could get it done. For example, manufacturing reinforced plates as, as a uh, common resource. Uh, automating the manufacturing of reinforced plates of, of motors. Reinforced plates is probably the one that you would bother to manufacture in large quantities, simply because that would give you 
Um, that would give you the ability to make the, the T2 uh, tracks. And having everything running on that would be quite fun. Like upgrading all of your logistics to that. But outside of also, those... Also, you don't need things, to bring anything down, oh, okay. by the way. I have all the resources I think I will need. Radio. I'm, I'm curious about your your project now, actually. I, I finally solved the how do you get back up without... Uh, Let's see, how do you get back up without uh, dying horribly? Okay, there we go. Got a decent production of pipes now. It is about to run out of backlogged iron, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I could make an extra runoff to try and deliver a little bit more to it, but um, that would be an awkward one, really. I don't have that much of a fear of heights any anymore, but this this gives me the heebies. <laughs> Did you have a, a an actual phobia of heights then? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I can't stand being up high. Uh, generally, it's not so bad anymore. But like you know, there's points where I'm just like. Oh. What's wrong? Oh. Doesn't sound Did like I a good sign. That? Nah. I'm not going to do that. People are trying to convince me to, um... To change... Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> I felt that one. I take it you just survived. I fell, but I caught myself. Uh, nope. Note to everybody in Fulf, don't stand on a moving conveyor when there's no endpoint. <laughs> Fair. Right. Okay. Once the uh, the iron storage fills up, then everything will uh, start pumping into the production of um, iron rods. But oh. that'll be a little ways off. Got a decent amount of stuff going on there, though. Right, I'm going to come and have a look at this project. Is there anything I can bring at all? Uh, courage. Okay. <laughs> Foreboding, <laughs> but all right. Okay, there we go. Do you know if there are any plans to make the resource nodes finite? Or are they always going to be infinite? I, I think they're always supposed to be infinite. Okay, that's cool. Because I think that would they would need a lot more resources. Yeah. And I don't think I don't think the game is really set up that well for it. Yeah. Oh, let's get a good flow going. It's not bad. Right. I am here now. Oh wow. Oh, you're yeah. Good using the walls. Nice. <laughs> I I am automatically doing like I'm not uh, I'm not moving. I'm just deleting things right as I as I go, and uh, oh good, it stopped me. Every once in a while it stops and it scares me. Okay. Because then I have to like reorient. Right. Let's follow Wanda's path all the way up. Let's see if you can finish your path before I get to the top. I'm not going to run. I don't I'm just think gonna, so. I think... I'm just going to let it take me up. So you've got quite a lot of time. <sighs> I reckon you might have a decent chance of getting it all finished. Yeah, I just didn't have quite enough... Uh... I didn't have quite enough wall segments. Can't afford. Oh, no. Uh oh, well, you've still got plenty of time. So if you rush, if you rush, you might be able to do it. How many floors have we got? One, two, three. 
and oh, turn around. One, two, three, four, five, six. You've got about seven floors of distance between me and you. Well, if I run out of iron, we're stuck down here. <laughs> no, we're not. The jump pads just down there. Well, yeah, but oh, there's no way up. You've taken away the stairs. Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, and the other conveyor belt. Oh, well, that is uh, that's an interesting situation. I mean, there's more conveyor belt down there that you can collect. True. I think I got enough. Just slowly re uh, collecting all of the uh, conveyor belts around the place. Oh, oh, you are. Yep. It's a good way of doing doing things. Yeah, I'm. I'm trying to smoothly do it so I never. No. Nope. Oh no. Oh no! I made a mistake. Costly mistake? A uh, problematic mistake. Uh oh. Okay, I have I have stopped. I missed and didn't stick it onto one of the walls. Right. It just stuck itself onto whatever the heck it wanted. Oh wait, hold on. I went too high. <laughs> so we have made it. Yeah, excellent. Yep, we have a uh, we have a auto auto path all the way up. It's a, it's a little to... slow, but yeah, it'll get it. It'll get the job done. Or well, actually, it doesn't. I was going to say, how are we going to get down though? We've taken over the the other conveyor, but that's what the jump the jelly pads are for. So ah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Originally, I was like kind of worried about it, and it's like, wait a second, no, this is obvious. Aim for the jelly pads, which are <laughs> on the other side. Of... Whoops, I got to move those. <laughs> They're in the wrong spot for safety. I mean, the right spot for fun, though. <laughs> you really have to aim for them now. They're not. They're not there as a, a preventative measure. They're a. Uh, well, you're falling. Hope you're. Hope you're in the general vicinity. Good luck. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jelly landing pad. And I'm almost at the top. Final last few levels. This actually is just kind of, I'll be honest, Wanda, it's fun. It's it's a good idea. Well actually no, it's a terrible idea. It's 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 a fun project, but oh my god, it takes so long. You could, wow. however, go make yourself a cup of tea. Start at the bottom, yeah. and when you come back, you'll be at the top. So actually, yeah, okay, this idea has merit. I approve. Oh! What's wrong? When are we rebuilding this with tier 2 conveyor belts, somebody asks. I mean... <laughs> I... Oh. I... Ah. What? Ah. No. No. I should have no. thought of that. No. It's not happening. <laughs> We're not doing that. I refuse. <laughs> Man has to draw a line somewhere. My line is going to be drawn <laughs> uh, on replacing this with tier I mean, belts. Luckily, I pretty much only ever have to go down there when we run out of uh, power. So there's really not a whole lot of reason to. Uh, there's really not a whole lot of reason to uh, to come down here. Period. Wow, I missed a lot of wall segments apparently. And finally. We're yeah, at the top. Okay. Well, I think that's a wrap. Ooh. Oh, lag spikes. I'm trying to uh, go up myself, and uh, lag spikes make that real scary. Oh, yeah, I know. Occasionally, you just kind of get stuck on stuff as well. 
Yeah. Oh, you're running up. Brave man. Yeah, I, uh, the lag spikes really would spooky. make that scary. Yeah. <laughs> lag spikes not as dangerous when you're uh, when you're <laughs> just letting, letting it take, it take you. you. Yeah. It takes you a it's hell of a long fast time. If you though. actually walk though. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a lot faster right. than this. Ah. <sighs> I am, I am, I am satisfied. Are you satisfied? Yeah, yeah. I, I'd say I was satisfied. I, I, I'd give this uh, satisfactory game a, a ten out of ten for appropriate name. Yeah, they, they really, they really gambled with it because if it wasn't, ooh. <laughs> Let, let's be honest though, the amount of people who are drooling over this game, I, I think, I think it was clear enough. It was going to be pretty, pretty cathartic. And honestly, that's what I would say about this. It, it is cathartic. Watching the factory do its thing is super pleasing. Super pleasing. Yeah. But, uh, Making it nice and stable. Yeah. I would enjoy checking out the sugar cubes when, when it releases. I think they will be a big part of moving stuff around. Um, yeah. And I strongly suspect that would massively improve performance as well. Because with the conveyor belts, each conveyor belt has like an entity of whatever is moving on it. Whereas the sugar cube, I can only assume, it just is the sugar cube. It's just it now has an inventory I, that says it's carrying forty-five slots worth of whatever. I will say it does look like uh, your more organized base is actually considerably less laggy than my my spaghetti monster. <laughs> well, like maybe this. I think this is a bigger base. And I'm not feeling any lag. I actually felt most of the lag in the very beginning of the game when we were fighting things yeah. in the forest. And then it's been getting a lot lot easier along the way. I don't know. Yeah. A lot smoother. It might might yeah. also be particle effects. Because there's a lot of particle True. effects down there. The uh, the jelly pads and the plumes of smoke from the uh, from the coal. Furnaces. Oh, no, 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 no. I, mean, I meant like in the very beginning of the... The uh, session. Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah. That's when it was laggy. Yeah, yeah. Um, barring a few crashes, generally I've not had any issues with the the game being... No game-breaking bugs. Difficult, no. Just just some amusing little hiccups. You can generally recover from, from everything that we've encountered. In fact, we have recovered from everything we've encountered. But yeah, again, alpha game is alpha. Um, there will be optimization issues and like you know full-blown optimization issues um and there will be frequent bugs i imagine but as an overall product yeah i've really enjoyed the last several hours playing through this and i cannot wait until the 19th when there's going to be a, a whole heap of more um actual content to it three other tiers and i imagine based on the kind of ramp up that we've seen here you're going to need a, a significantly more uh, productive base to be able to, to make use and, and actually um, build the things that those tiers are going to unlock. <laughs> Holy crap. You know your your iron nonsense? Yep. It is, your iron storage is actually capped out, by the way. Oh, really? They started to cap out? Wow. Yeah, completely. That's actually a little bit impressive. Mm. Not the not the storage, but the the plates. Oh yeah, have yeah, yeah. Absolutely yeah, yeah. Capped out and at the end. Yep. Even the storage is starting to get oh, no. there. But uh, yeah, eventually that starts just, filtering through. Maybe I'll just. Oh wait, no, no. I I don't think I'll be able to leave this running because if the uh, the weekend ends, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I was just like, I could just leave this running for like five hours. Uh, <laughs> someday while I'm just doing other things, we just come back and have like half a billion iron plates, and it's like okay. But no, that would be disingenuous. Anything. But yeah, no, I'm really, really excited to continue this one uh, when the 19th rolls in. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks for, for having me around, and thank you everyone for watching. I had a great deal of fun, and I hope you've all got... Uh, this is wet your, your appetites, both uh, my views and, of course, Wanda's. Yeah. And uh, with that, I'm going to be wrapping up my stream. And then going to bed. Yeah. Pro uh, yeah. I might make it. I, I'm not sure. I might only get halfway up the stairs. I, well, hopefully they're comfortable stairs. Yeah, mostly. <laughs> They've got carpet, at least. You don't... Okay, they're carpeted. <laughs> My parents have wooden stairs. They're not fun to sleep on. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, everyone. I really, really hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you next time.
Take care. Yeah. Good night.